Most factories at Pasaka Industrial State can potentially minimize huge energy loss if energy efficient methods are adopted. Experts say the energy loss, particularly the heat energy in the form of smoke, can be used to generate electricity. This also means saving money and the factories becoming more eco-friendly. In early May this year, researchers from India studied the energy efficiency of the factories at the industrial state. They found out that most of the plants were using relatively old technologies, losing huge amount of energy during manufacturing process. For example, this ferrosilicon plant loses more than 70% of its total energy input during its operation. From the total energy input, about 38% of it is lost through various factors and another 30% is lost as heat energy in the form of smoke. This means 87,000 kg of smoke is emitted every hour at 460 degrees centigrade. Now, this leaves the total useful heat energy at only about 30%. Through the waste heat recovery method, these high volume and high temperature gases can be used to generate 3.3 megawatt of electricity. This is enough to light around 660 households, but this requires an investment of about 200 million item to install a single waste heat recovery system. And we found that there is a very good potential uh, to introduce energy efficient technologies and practices in these units, and which can uh, be economically attractive for the units, and it can reduce the carbon emissions uh, which can uh, and mitigate climate change and be overall good for the Bhutanese economy also. Earlier this week, researchers and representatives from the factories discussed the possibility of adopting the method. Most welcomed the idea, but the huge investment cost was not well received. Challenges here is our industries are very small. Uh, and the initial investment is uh, to some extent quite huge. So the our private industries are a little bit uh, skeptic about investment. So from the government side, I think uh, what we can do is to try to see how much uh, support we can give in terms of incentives, in terms of facilitating or in, in terms of coordinating and f network, uh, getting a network and t uh, keeping uh, uh, in touch with other experts and also with donors so that the private industries can invest and come into this. The stakeholders are now discussing ways to gather funds to transform the industrial state into an energy efficient park. Kipchu, BVS News.